Good evening. Good evening, Ms. Shama Mohammed. I want to know from you what is your view on the government's new booster policy where they've opened up precaution doses which will now be available to 18 plus population only at private vaccination centers. Uh, that means against a fee. Yeah, Sanjay, a couple of points on this. First and foremost, all over the world, they're giving this booster dose free, of course. Number two, once you give it only in private hospitals, there is a huge disparity between the rich and poor. The rich will go to the private hospital. How are the poor supposed to get it? Number three, every other day when we talk about this 26 lakh crore, which they've collected in excise duty for the last seven years, they say to us, the Bhatia Janta Party government, we are spending on vaccination and there is other things. Then if they're spending it on vaccination, it should be here. Number four, what has happened to PM Care? We remember that this was a fund uh, started off by the Prime Minister of India, where the railways paid up, where the defence paid up, where a lot of salary cuts were made from people working in government jobs. All that went into PM Care. A lot of people put money in it from government uh, PSUs. Money was put into it. Why is that not being used? I don't hear anything about PM Care anymore. That has to be used for these uh, vaccination, the booster dose. Where is PM care? What has happened to all the excise and also the uh, GST collection of 1,42,000 crores, the highest in March? Where is this money going? And these are money from everybody. You see, GST is from everyone, from the poor to the middle class to the rich. Excise duty is to everybody. I mean, people cannot afford gas cylinders. There's inflation, everything. Now, who's, how are they going to get these boosts to shop? Okay. Uh, Mr. Patania, would you like to respond? Some very important points are raised that when uh, there was an excise duty hike, whenever yes. there was, uh, uh, you know, the justification for high tax on petrol and diesel was explained by saying, how else are you getting free booster doses? So now that uh, booster doses are not available free, uh, are we to expect lower taxes on petrol and yeah. diesel? That Secondly, the question on PM, on that, PM care, a, GST collection. That might be a, sir, sir, that might be a political argument, but petrol prices have nothing to do with the vaccination. No, no, cost. this is an argument that was made by many BJP spokespersons <laughs> but this who is said not, that this, how else this, do you expect us to fund a vaccination drive? This is an argument which sends economic sense, sir. Higher excise duties means that the country has spent more on COVID, nothing. The increasing petrol or diesel prices or crude oil prices, the story is on, we could say the boot is on the other leg. But 35,000 crore is the roughly the budget of the country which has been which has been used for providing free vaccination to all. The way Tika Mahotsav has yielded results, the way the India and the Indian health infrastructure has delivered in all the far flung, we could say Sanjay, the backward, less known yes. hamlets Shama of Mohammed. India. We should appreciate it. We should uh, appreciate what, it. I want to ask this is you, nothing. This is, nothing. Bolyan, this is an additional leg, sir. This is only an additional can. option which is available to those people, those who can afford a vaccine for a paltry rupees 600 in private hospital for those people who could afford. And for uh, another, at a so that's the, that's the point, Mr. Patania. Also. Why are booster and doses then, available only for those who can afford? So what about so those who I'm cannot afford? Please, is not I'm a paltry one. Which one are you living in? Let's do it. You know, know, 600 rupees is a huge hospital. amount of money. In case people are left out, we will see to it how we believe in concluding and reiterating it for the third time vaccination for all. Har ek admi ko tika. Okay, Dive, Shama Mohammed and then Reena Gupta. One by one, please. <laughs> Miss My Shama Mohammed. My question are two. That means the poor have no right to booster vaccine. That is what Mr. Patania is saying. And number Absolutely two, not. what has happened to PM care? Why is Mr. <laughs> Patani not talking about it? Yes, 35,000 crore was earmarked in the budget last year. But there was something called the PM care. When that false talk, the PM care is supposed to come in. What has happened yeah. to the money in that? Can you tell me, Mr. Patania? That was mainly started from Are you COVID. accusing, are you accusing that no PM care has been spent? <laughs> Sorry? Sorry? Are you, are you making a stale argument that none of the PM cares has been spent with regard to COVID management? Well, that, we don't know. Well, because because it has not been audited. It's not been audited. That's the point. It's not been audited. It's not under RTI. So we don't know what's happening. 